I'm Keita Kobayashi. I'm an ordinary businessman. It was my second year now. I was finally starting to get the hang of things around here. And there was this one girl that I worked with. Morning. That's Masaki Ando. We started working here at the same time. She was one of the prettiest girls here, but... Morning. Morning. Why is she always so cold towards me? Not sure why, but she didn't like me very much. Kobayashi, morning! Hey, remember that restaurant I was telling you about the other day? Yeah, the steakhouse, right? Yeah, I went there the other day and... Oh, how was it? The other girls don't seem to hate me or anything, so I don't know what her problem is. <sighs> Who is he talking to? She wasn't like this before. Uh, Kobayashi, can I talk to you? Sure. That's Kiyama-san, another colleague of mine. She was in the sales department. It was rare for her to come see me like this during work. What's up? Well, uh... Could you come to the matchmaking party tonight? What? Yeah, this friend of mine, she asked me to set it up, but this one guy canceled at the last minute, and, um... So you want me to fill in for him? I don't know. I don't like going to those things. It's nothing special, and it'll be a good opportunity for you to meet people from other companies. I don't know. Who else is coming? Uh, Ito and Koto-san. You're the only girl? Yeah. What? You want me to invite someone else? Oh, you like someone? No, it's not that. I just don't want to run into someone from work, that's all. Oh, okay, no worries. So you're in, right? Cool. What? Thank you so much. I'll send you the address later. Uh, I guess I got no choice. And so I was forced to go to this matchmaking party. After work, I headed towards the station to meet up with everyone. But then... Masaki? What the hell? I thought she said... Kobayashi! Thanks for coming! Uh, sure. Huh? What is it? Oh, nothing. It's just that I wasn't expecting Ando-san to be here too, so... <sighs> what now? I can't just back out now. <sighs> What's the matter? Are we gonna have a problem here? What? No, no, not at all. I just didn't know you came to these things, that's all. True, you're always getting hit on by guys at work, so I was surprised when you told me you wanted to come too. Huh, I didn't say that. She asked me to come, not the other way around. Oh. Okay. Whatever. Hey, stop lying! You're the one that said you wanted to come? Shut up! J just go with it, please! <gasps> Wait, do you... I'll, I'll buy you lunch, okay? Just stop. Okay. <laughs> 
on then, let's go! Okay! okay. So we arrived at the restaurant. I sat away from Ando-san on purpose. She's acting so weird. Just stay away from her. What am I doing here anyways? Kobayashi-san, nice to meet you! Uh, nice to meet you too. Hmm, what do you want to drink? Well... Uh, girls are all over him again. Why don't you sit next to him or something? Huh? Ando-san, right? Uh, yeah? You're so beautiful. I've heard a lot about you. Uh-huh? Uh, huh? I usually stay in the office, but I've heard many good things about you. Oh, uh, thanks. <sighs> What would you like to drink? Uh, um... She seems to be having fun too. Whatever. Why do I even care? I sound like I'm jealous. Uh, here you go. Thank you. Looks good. The party wasn't bad. I wasn't here to make girlfriends or anything, but it was still fun. So, what is Kayama like at work? She's quite the character. Nobody can say no to her. <laughs> hey, stop it. <laughs> is my chance, but I don't know what to say to him. Mm, all right, I got an idea. Um... Yes, Sando-san? The AC is too strong here. Can you switch seats with me? Of course. Uh, what is she doing here? He's mine. Kobayashi-san, you okay? Uh, yeah. Hold on. I better switch seats. Not on my watch. <laughs> what the? As I tried to stand up, she used her legs to hold me down. What is she doing? Hey, what are you doing? Uh, please, don't go. Uh, you okay? Yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna order something to drink. Cool, anyone else? I'll take some shochu. I'll take the same thing. What? She can drink shochu? It's pretty strong. And I was right to be worried. <laughs> A few minutes later, she was wasted. Uh, you okay? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm all warm now. <laughs> Uh... Uh-oh, she might fall asleep soon. Uh. Ah, uh. Then she spilled the drink all over herself. What are you doing? Uh. 
I grabbed a napkin and started drying her clothes. Then, everyone started staring at me. Uh, what is he doing? Ooh, I didn't know they were this close. Kayama-san, could you help me? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. We're not kids anymore. Hey, get up! <laughs> Thanks, big brother. <laughs> Ugh. I'm not your brother. <laughs> she was actually talking about me, but I don't think anyone noticed. She's gonna fall asleep soon. You should go home. Ando, uh, uh, uh. get up! This is your chance! Go home with him. Huh? Hey! Uh... Look, um... The thing is... When she found out you were coming, she insisted that she be here, too. What? Wait, so... I was born in the countryside. The small town I grew up in was so rich in nature. And Masaki, she was a childhood friend of mine. We've known each other for years. Hey, Misaki, it's a crab! Ha, catch it! Okay! We were the same age, but I was one grade ahead of her, so sometimes she called me Big Brother. But then after middle school, I moved away. Don't cry now. It's not like we'll never get to see each other again. You don't know that. <laughs> we'll see each other again. You promise? Yes. Fine then. When we're older, I want to be your wife. What? Uh, okay. I liked her too, so I said okay. But then many years later, I totally forgot about it. We sent each other holiday cards and stuff, but that was about it. I moved on to college and started going out with another girl. But then one day when I was out in the city with her, I ran into Misaki. Keita? What the? You cheated on me! What? Uh, what is she talking about? Hold on, I can explain. Masaki, wait! Then, I met her again on my first day at work. I knew she was working in the city, but I had no idea we were going to be working at the same company. I broke up with my girlfriend a few months prior to this, so I was single. And Masaki, she was really cold towards me. Anyways, Kayama-san forced me to walk her home, so we headed out. What do I say? I'm sorry. Huh? You broke up with your girlfriend because of me. I'm sorry. 
Oh, uh... I've been meaning to apologize, but I didn't know how. Masaki. So she wanted to apologize this whole time? That's why she was acting all weird. It's not like that, though. Huh? We broke up, yes, but we were thinking about breaking up for a while, before I ran into you. She was going to move away for work after college, and I was staying here, so... Oh... We're still good friends, though, and I told her who you were, so it's fine. Oh? Is that why you came to the matchmaking party? Mm-hmm, that too, but... But... I just couldn't stand the idea of you being with another girl. She never forgot about me. Not even once. It's been a long time. Mm, yeah. I... I want to know more about you, Misaki. And I want you to know more about me. Keita. You know I missed you too, right? you so much hey now then she ran towards me and hugged me we were both grown up now but it reminded me of the good old days so you want to give this thing a try yeah why not love you misaki Love you too, Keita. So after 10 years, we're finally together. Hello! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you all next time. Bye-bye!